all right so in this video i am uh redesigning my character omari his previous name was pumari uh it's super fun to see the progress you make in your own character designs and for me at least uh his design has had many iterations and i think i finally come to something that i really like and i will stick with for a while now but i could just be saying that and change it in a week or so but no nah, i think this design is is the best i've gotten so far uh, for this character in the background here i basically copied the last design but instead of having uh that leather armor uh i later on give him a bandana and this kind of like a scarf type of thing i really wanted to portray him as a bounty hunter that uh, is able to use fire as his like ability or power and um he's not necessarily a good guy um and he's not necessarily a villain he's a bounty hunter so i guess he would uh be more like an anti-hero kind of a character but yeah the goal with this character design is to make him look like a bounty hunter some type of adventure and so i really enjoyed drawing him with uh these tattoos uh, i tried to redesign it here because i didn't like the way it was looking it was a little too complex for me to keep redrawing every time i wanted to draw this character so i was trying to uh design a tattoo that looked all right it was simplified look looked pretty cool and i'm not a tattoo artist or anything but <laughs> uh, i found some type of simplified design that i liked uh, because i do want to be able to like draw this character in a graphic novel format and in multiple illustrations and having this tattoo was kind of weird for me because it was just hard to draw from different angles the way i was drawing it before uh in the last video i drew it as well but it's weird to draw it because it would change or the way that a tattoo works is it, it looks a certain way depending on which uh which part of the arm you're looking at or what uh what the viewpoint of the arm looks like and so i just want to just simplify it and this is the new design i got uh, something simple it still has that flame kind of icon on it on his shoulder but just super simplified something i can draw pretty easy and overall fun to create fun to do and so now in the next this next part i am putting in the base colors uh one thing i noticed with professional character design and uh specifically in street fighter i have this art book uh the art of street fighter um Characters don't use that many colors, just at most maybe seven colors in each character design, maybe even less. And so I want to take that and implement that into my own character design to really simplify the design, uh, make the characters stand out from one another. And in this case, for my character Omari, uh, like I said, he's a fire slinging bounty hunter. And so I definitely want some reds in there. Um, I ended up going with a darker red color for his like outfit, his main outfit for the primary color. I went with this color. And the red and yellow are, are like accent colors for this character design. And that's all you really need. I've learned to keep my character design super simple. And if you saw my previous video, um, you notice that my characters in that drawing didn't really have, a, have good designs to them. I was just kind of drawing what I thought would look good in the moment, but now I am actually going back and creating a story for those characters and designing them with a purpose. <laughs> uh, before I was just sketching them in my sketchbook and uh, while it was fun, I didn't really have anything that was, I guess, sustainable, uh, something that I could redraw and that looked interesting. And so that's my main goal for, this, for these character designs is to make them more appealing make them look more interesting and overall fun for me to draw because uh when i look back at that old drawing they they were kind of boring and so yeah just exploring the character design uh a little bit more putting more uh thought into the process has helped me 
create this design that you see here on screen and Overall, it was fun. Like I said, I wanted to make sure that he looked like a bounty hunter. Uh, he looks like dangerous. He looks like somebody you don't want to mess with. And that's what I want to do with all these character designs. I don't want to just sketch a character and not really think about his design because I'm thinking that this character is maybe a little bit flashy. Uh, he's a bounty hunter and he's been doing it for a while. So he's got some experience on his belt and he's a leader of a bounty hunter team. And that's one thing I don't think the previous illustration suggested very well or uh, conveyed very well. Like you didn't really know who was who, who was a leader, who was not the leader, or uh, maybe you could have, but for me, I think I could have done a better job at that. And so that's why I needed to redesign this character uh, because he didn't really look he didn't really stand out from any of the other characters. And so definitely got to do a better job of that. And uh, that's what I did with this character design. In total, I'm redesigning all five of those characters. The I'm redesigning Omari, uh, the knight, kid, the knight, uh, and then the, the two like ninja characters and then the, the brawler. Uh, woman that I drew in the previous video. I think that illustration would have been a lot stronger if I would have designed the characters first and then created a illustration based on those designs. And that's my main reason for really redesigning the characters because having a consistent design that I can look back to when I want to redraw these characters and illustrations and future illustrations will make this whole process a lot easier. And so dig digital drawing makes things a lot easier because you can just redraw on top of the character design. Uh, before I drew the bandana and the his scarf that he had, I just had his base costume, right? But I just used another layer to draw uh, the bandana on top and uh, his other accessories and stuff like that, uh, which made it a lot easier for me to um, up with like, different ideas i really i really like the loose uh this loose illustration style um just helps me get my idea on the paper fast without having to worry about clean line art uh which i'm not sure i'll do anymore <laughs> as for this uh but not nah, i probably will but to get my ideas across the page i just like this loose sketchy style and now here are the facial expressions I worked on. Uh, the first one here is uh, just a front front view that I drew a while ago, imported onto this uh, canvas and used on my character sheet. Uh, that saved me a lot of time because I already drew it. So all I had to do was import it onto this character design sheet. Uh, I've always had the design for his face down, but it was always the costume that I was struggled with. and. If you struggle with the costume for your characters, uh, what you want to do is use real world reference. Um, I think in the past what I struggled with, I struggled with character design because I was trying to look at other artists' character designs instead of coming up with my own ideas from real world references. And so I got to get better at doing that. Uh, instead of using other people's character design, use my own creative thinking, critical thinking ability to uh, design my own characters from real, real world world reference and that's what I did with this uh, pose here uh, I used a picture I didn't put it on the canvas yet but you'll see it in, in a little bit uh, I use this picture from Pinterest this cool pose uh, to sketch this interesting pose that I thought would fit uh, Omari and his fire slinging ability uh, <laughs> this is really cool to work on because I, I was just able to see my own improvement in my figure drawing skills and in my character design skills and like i said earlier once you have that design down for your character it's super easy to uh draw that character from now on uh before i was like really struggling trying to figure out this character design in his outfit and use a real world reference has helped me a lot 
uh, and use my imagination with the real world reference to to come up with something cool. And that's exactly what I did with this uh, with this sketch here. I used a I used a reference for a pose and applied my character to it. And that's what you can do to make figure drawing fun is instead of just drawing the figure, draw the pose of that figure, but add your character to it. And it's a great and easy way to create a design sheet for your character. So I definitely want to do this for more poses for this character. Um, and with the way I work, I like to, I, I don't like to use multiple layers for my sketches. I like to sketch like I'm sketching on a piece of paper in my sketchbook and I do that by just sketching and erasing, sketching and erasing. Uh, I don't like to use multiple layers on top of each other to uh, refine anything. I like to just like carve out the shapes that I need uh, while I draw. Um, don't get me wrong though, I, I will use that method of using layers for my sketches if I really need to. But for this, it was just a lot easier for me to draw over the sketch and erase and then draw over that and erase. And it just helps me make it make this digital experience feel like paper because I get to do just draw erase, draw erase. And that has helped me overcome like this digital, uh, digital tablet, digital art kind of, I don't know how to describe it. It's just like a feeling. It, Basically, what I'm saying is digital art doesn't feel the same to me as drawing on paper. And so I, I try to simulate the, the, the drawing experience of drawing on paper in Clip Studio Paint. And the best way I do that is by just drawing on one layer, uh, drawing my sketches on one layer. And even when I learn, I'm learning how to paint. So I usually just paint on one layer as well. I've been practicing still life drawing and stuff and uh, learning how to convey forms with, with, uh, just color. Uh, but yeah, in this case, just a sketch on one layer. Uh, it's super cool to see, uh, this design be translated into a different pose and my ability to, to even do that in the first place, uh, it definitely takes practice. You got to practice figure drawing and, um, that's like the base of this really it's just the figure drawing aspect of everything. If you can draw a good figure, you can draw, the character design on top and it's actually not that hard for me to do that and overall it was a fun experience to do um but yeah I'm, I'm super excited to draw the rest of the characters draw the rest of these characters um design sheets uh omari is the leader of this group of bounty hunters and i can't wait for you to see them it's gonna be fun So yeah, the, the, the reference is up. If you haven't seen it, it's in that right above the character that I'm drawing It's right above him. Uh, but I'm using that to, to inform my decisions on how I, uh, draw all the elements of this character's, uh, design, right? Where his sword goes, where his belt goes and stuff like that. And using a reference like that makes this whole process a lot more fun. I'm not just like studying how to draw the figure. I'm studying the figure, but I'm also implementing my own character design into it. And so if you want to get better at drawing characters, uh, I highly suggest this practice of drawing figures, but also drawing the character design, your own original character designs on top of that figure. It makes this study a lot more fun because I'm actually like working towards something. I'm not just doing uh, not mindless studies, but I'm not just doing studies with no end goal. The end goal for this study is to uh, put my character design on top of the pose, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, and see how much simpler my uh, tattoo design is from the other one? Uh, it's so much more easier for me to actually implement this tattoo design onto the character and how it forms and how it contorts around the form of the arm. 
and that's that's why i i wanted to uh redesign the tattoo because the other design would have would have been a a pain to draw on this arm here but because i simplified it because i uh got rid of that old one uh and just simplified it it was a lot easier to draw on this new uh design and in this pose more specifically so when in doubt just simplify it for real <laughs> that's what i've been learning about art in general especially like painting and stuff uh painting is all about simplifying uh your shapes and stuff and so can't wait i can't wait to share what i'm learning about painting with you i definitely want to get better at uh, painting landscapes and backgrounds but yeah uh i said it earlier but i do like this um looser line art illustration style and so I don't, i'm not really going in with any hard lines i'm just coloring under pretty much my sketch really and coloring like that just grabbing the colors from my design uh like i said i only have seven colors that i'm using and so that's it for this design basically i have a color for uh the outfit the accent colors which are the red and the yellow uh then i have a metal and like this bandage or like the wrap the cloth and that's pretty much it and the fire has like its own separate color palette but yeah when you're creating a character simplify it keep it simple make it interesting you can draw a, a cool pose on your character design sheet uh draw some expressions and i really wanted to make make him look like like cocky and and uh sure of himself and confident and that's what that's who this character is so hopefully you enjoy this video uh go out and create your own original characters and uh let me know how that goes for you uh this is the finished character design sheet for omari uh and i'll see you in the next video and Hopefully this helped you. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun drawing the, the rest of the characters and showing them to you. So, until next time, peace.